this is Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and also the creator of the Clever with Canva course. Today I'd like to share with you three easy ways to create a simple single line inside of Canva. So if you're inside your Canva design, my favorite way is to go to Elements, Shapes, and to select the square option. Now what I can do is I can drag this guy down and I can manipulate the length and the size of the line right over here. So if you needed to create multiple lines, you can absolutely use this same option. You would just drag it bigger and smaller like this. And if you needed to make a checkbox next to that, you would either type in square or you'd also go to the elements section. You can also type in border and make this into a square. Put that right next to your line. I'm just going to make it the same color and make this a tad bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Now if that border is too small for you, there's also this one that you can manipulate. So you can make that a tad smaller and make the inside white. And that's a really easy way for you to create a line inside of Canva. Now sometimes you're going to have to make this bigger in order to manipulate it on the sides over here with the circle. So just keep that in mind. And so what you could do is that, select it. And the way I select it is I hold in my mouse and I just drag it over. Then I select the copy and I position that right underneath. Do it the same for both of them. So if you had multiple lines, you would just take this guy, copy it or create it from scratch. You would copy it again, position it exactly where you need it. Remember to use the bolt in lines that Canva already gives you to make sure that your element is aligned and in alignment with each other. So this one seems a little off. I'm just going to move this right up a bit. Another great way to make sure that your lines are right underneath each other is to make use of Canvas inbuilt grid tool. So what you want to do is press command and colon. Okay, so this is an easy way. So then what I do is I move these guys to make sure that they are exactly on that line. And then the same goes for the side. Once you're happy with those, you can remove the grid, command, colon. You can select it by scrolling over or hold the shift key. Press copy and place it directly underneath. Let's do that again. Okay, so that's one way to create lines. Another way is to type in lines in the search box and has circles at the end. So if you don't mind that your line is running off of the page, you can just stretch it out like that and it will make a straight line. So that's one way to make this line. This line is mostly going to be this size. So um, what's different about the line that we created with the square is that we have a lot more control over how uh, thick and thin we want that line. And then the third way, which is kind of my least favorite way, only because it gets complicated in terms of the font that you use. And my least favorite option, because it's going to depend on the type of font that you use, is to add in a text box. And then you use your hyphen key, but you hold in shift as well. So instead of it being in the center, it's going to be down below. So my font that I mostly use is Playfair. So in order to see how this would make a line is you would go and select different fonts. Let's try this first one. See how it makes a straight line. So we can take this guy out and then you would keep pressing this until you have more or less the line length that you want. So let's keep it consistent with the one that we have over here. And another reason I'm not too fond of this particular one is because I think that it's, it takes a bit longer needing to kind of type these out. Whereas with this guy, you have a lot more control over 
um, how long and how short you would want that line. So those are the three ways to create simple lines inside of Canva. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.